Hello, my dear ladies and students. Very good morning, to everyone. Get back to MBS Learning Institute. So today we are going to discuss a different task. So as we are going to discuss the task, so let's remind to to subscribe our channel MBS Learning Institute in order not to miss the further classes. As you want to get alarm every day. So here, so in previous class we discussed what are adjectives and what kind of adjectives and I have already informed you very detailedly there are 10 kinds of adjectives so before we are going to discuss our class adjectives with, with an information with a slight information regarding nouns masculine and feminine masculine feminine 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 see here masculine feminine see masculine feminine as i was teaching this class there was a mistake the mistake is here masculine as given as bride feminine as given as bridegroom so this is wrong so this is wrong so bridegroom is bridegroom is it this is it is not feminine it is not a masculine so bride is a lady who is going to get married a woman who is going to get married and bridegroom is a man who is going to get married so here uh, this is a way okay so this is the information so what you understand here so this is sorry for this so the mistake was happened so masculine is a bridegroom feminine is a bride so what is masculine masculine gender is a male gender it is a male gender so feminine is a female gender so this is wrong so it was given mistakenly so i think here so it was happened so instead of writing instead of writing bride uh, bridegroom as a masculine and bride, bride is a feminine so it was written vice versa so here now you have to change refer the class and change it here so masculine is a bride bridegroom feminine is a bride i understood what is masculine it is a male gender so bridegroom feminine is a bride okay thank you so this is a reference by a student so it is intimated me and it is asked as it is given, then I rectified it. Thank you for referring. So if, if you find out some more mistakes like that, you intimate me. So thank you for this. And see here, and this is now we are discussing adjectives. What is that here? Adjectives. So there are 10 kinds of adjectives. Especially here, the positions of adjectives we discussed. So adjectives can be classified adjectives can be classified as either attributive adjectives or predicative adjectives according to where they occur in sentences i understood what i said now adjectives can be classified as either attributive or predicative adjectives according to where they occur in sentences okay see here we have already discussed but with with two more examples that 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 big car is his that big car is his that big car is his see here and the second one is they chose, they chose, they chose a young man for the job. They chose a young man for the job. They chose a young man for the job. See here, their big core is here. They chose a young man for the job. See here, big and here, young. So these both are known as attributive. Adjectives. Why? Because these nouns which are used with the noun. These adjectives which are this is also adjective and ang also adjective. 
so these are used to be the noun car is a noun and here also man is a noun so what do you understand here so attribute attribute uh, attributive attributive adjective is formed or attributive adjective is known as attributive adjective is known as adjective plus noun and adjective plus noun attributive adjective is known as a adjective plus noun so this is a attributive adjective and where is the one of the predicate adjective in your predicate adjective see here she is she is asleep she is asleep you made you made you made all the answers wrong you made all the answers you made all the answers wrong i understood what i said here so she is asleep you made all the answers wrong so wrong here asleep so both here see this is also adjective and wrong also adjective the both are see the both are used without noun the both are used without noun so here an adjective which is used without noun is called attributive what is that sorry predicative an adjective which is used an adjective is used without noun so an adjective is used free okay an adjective is used without noun is called predicative so what is the difference between attributive and predicative here predicative 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 so predicative adjectives attributive adjectives predicative attributive adjectives predicative adjectives so what do you distinguish between attributive ad attributive adjectives and predicative ad adjectives attributive adjective is in the form of adjective plus noun so that's why that big car is his so this is attributive adjectives and they chose an man for the job here this is an again attributive adjective because these both adjectives are formed with noun sorry are are used along with nouns and here see she is asleep adjective is used to your free and you made all the answers wrong you made all the answers wrong he is also here an adjective so this here asleep and wrong the both adjectives are used without noun so that's why these kind of adjectives are known as predicative there are number of there are 10 kinds of adjectives how many there are 10 kinds of adjectives but those adjectives here some they may be no some in sentences in accordance with the sentence some they may be known as attributive some they may be known as predicative but see here some adjectives can only become predicative i have already told you afraid of asleep okay i'm afraid of asleep insane these kind of adjectives they can be only predicative they can't become attributive okay and with one more example with one more example what i told here see this is see here that elephant that elephant that elephant that elephant has a really big trunk that elephant has a really big trunk that that elephant's trunk is really big i understood so before we discuss what are the attributive adjectives next what are the predicative adjectives but see here one adjective in 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 accordance with the sentence or in accordance with the situation in a sentence 
the adjective it may become either attributive or predicative with example i have shown here that elephant has a really big trunk so you know very well an adjective which is used with the noun is known as it is an attributive adjective whereas that elephant's trunk is really big then you know also here very well an adjective which is used without noun is called predicative so the information is here the thing is an adjective big it can be either attributive or predicative in accordance with the situation in a sentence so here it is used along with the noun that's why it is known as here attributive and here it is used without noun that's why it is known as predicative so both give same meaning there is no difference that elephant has a real big trunk that elephant struck and the sorry that elephant's trunk is really big okay so this is the way but here of course this is some adjective so most of the adjectives may become either attributive or predicative but some adjectives they can be only predicative itself do you understand what i said now most of the adjectives can become either attributive or predicative in accordance with the situation in a sentence but see here but some adjectives like here i told you asleep or here asleep asleep like afraid okay afraid of afraid of next insane okay so this like there are many so this kind of adjective is what here what what here they never become attributive adjectives they can be remained as predicative adjectives i have understood what is the difference between attributive and predicative so this is a uh, detailed information about attributive as well as predicative adjectives so all are the adjectives there are 10 kinds of adjectives so among them most of them may be attributive most of them may be predicative some most of the adjectives in accordance with the situation in a sentence may be may become either attributive or predicative like the example big but some predicative ad, some adjectives can be remained as predicative adjectives they never become attributive okay so thank you this is the information about what the difference between attributive and predicative adjectives now let's end the class here as we are discussing proper adjectives what are they proper adjectives here yeah, come on so proper adjectives so what we are discussing here right now proper adjectives so proper so proper adjectives proper adjectives is so we discussed there are 10 kinds of adjective proper adjectives descriptive okay numeral demonstrative interrogative etc there are 10 kinds of adjectives but the first one is your proper adjectives what are the proper adjectives actually i want you to i want you to know the proper adjectives are formed from proper nouns and the proper adjectives are from form from proper nouns what are the proper suppose see here you take here india what is in india is a proper noun indian tea indian tea what about in indian tea it is a proper adjective do you understand suppose in your poland is what your proper name it is a proper noun it is the name of the country india also name of the country proper nouns and proper names are like in proper nouns so paul paul girl a girl who is from poland is called paul girl so what you understand here the proper adjectives can be formed from proper nouns proper adjectives can be found from proper nouns suppose in here 
with an example C V Raman C V Raman C V Raman was Indian scientist C V Raman was Indian scientist what is an Indian here Indian actually it is a noun Indian it is a noun as well as adjective but how do yes I am an Indian suppose see here I am an Indian I am an Indian I am an Indian what is an Indian here it is noun no doubt at all we are all Indians what are our Indians here is no but see here what is the same Indian is known as here an adjective what kind of adjective proper adjective because it is placed in front of noun scientist because it modifies I told you what is an adjective adjective is a word that modifies or adds to the meaning of a noun so C.V. Raman was a scientist but who? which scientist? Indian scientist physicist Okay, so C. V. Raman was Indian scientist. Am I right? So here it modifies or adds to the meaning of the noun. It is called adjective. It is called what? Adjective. Suppose here and see. Akbar Akbar was a great emperor Akbar was a great emperor Akbar was a great emperor but where is he from? what about his dynasty? Akbar was a great Mughal Mughal Emperor Akbar was a great Mughal Emperor So what about Mughal here? What about Mughal? So Mughal here, this Mughal is a proper Mughal is a proper noun So the same Mughal as a proper noun is known as here What? Proper adjective so what do you understand here? Proper adjectives are found from proper nouns. Proper adjectives are found from proper adjectives are found from proper adjectives. So we'll see here he is he is he is he is an Irish. A person who is from Ireland, that is Ireland. He is an Irish. A person who is from Ireland. So he is an Irish. He is an Irish. So that is what here. He is an Irish man. He is an Irish man. He is an Irish man. So what about here? Irish is proper adjective. Irish is a proper adjective but see he is Irish he is Irish he is a noun Irish is a noun but Irish man and again here as it is placed in front of a noun as it is modifying the meaning of noun here then it is known as proper adjective so simply here then you might have understood what are proper adjectives proper adjectives are found from proper nouns so here so if an adjective is placed in front of another noun so if a proper noun if a noun so if a proper noun is placed before a noun is known as proper adjective so here i have already given one example i am an indian i am an i am, I am an indian so he is an irishman i am an indian he is British he is a British, but see here Newton. So, for example, Newton, 
Newton was a British scientist. A British scientist. Newton was a British scientist. Actually, British is a word here. It is a noun. But here it is known as adjective. It is known as proper adjective. Proper adjective. And see here, Indian Indian plains are very hot. Plains are very hot. But which plains here? Indian plains. Indian plains are very hot. Indian plains are very hot. See? So Indian plains are here Indian, here British, here Mughal, again here Indian, and here Irish. And she is, she is a pole girl. She is a pole girl. So pole here again, what? Proper adjectives. So what do you understand? And what do you understand here? How we can form proper adjectives? So proper adjectives can be formed from so proper nouns exactly. So C. V. Raman was Indian scientist. C. V. Raman was your Indian scientist. So your Indian is a proper adjective. A Mughal emperor Akbar was a great Mughal emperor. So Mughal is a proper adjective. And Newton was a British scientist. British is a proper adjective. So Indian plains are very hot here. Indian. Is a proper adjective. She is a pole girl here. Pole is a proper adjective. So these are all actually Indian, Mughal, British, again Indian pole. These are all nouns. But here they are known as adjectives because they are modifying the nouns. They are modifying the nouns as it is adding something that is nothing but meaning. Something for its real meaning. So that's why. Adjective means added to. Okay, so this is about proper adjectives. This is about proper adjectives. Okay, and see here we have discussed. So there are two positions of adjectives. What are the two positions of adjectives? What are the two positions of adjectives? Attributive, predicative. So what kind of adjectives are these? So Indian is a attributive because it is placed, it is used along with the noun. So Mughal, British, Indian, Paul, these are all known as attributive adjectives. Okay. So this is the information about proper adjectives. This is what? This is about proper adjectives. So I hope you will make some other proper adjectives. Thank you. Let's see. What are what are the what are the rest of the adjectives? Especially descriptive adjectives. What are the descriptive adjectives? So descriptive adjectives are nothing but adjectives of quality. What kind of person a thing is? Okay. So let us discuss with the detailed information about. Let us discuss with detailed information about descriptive adjectives. in next class so keep watching till i will come back thank you